right now. All right, um, uh, let me move this. Um, we got move that too. Um, we got this this Spider Man series. No one ever talks about. We got. Spider-Man the new animated series, which isn't new, so I, I just call it the animated series. This is from 2003. I hated how this one ended in a good way because it ended in a cliffhanger, pretty much. I mean, they can do season two, but this show was made by MTV back in 2003, so... Yeah... I'm just mad that it only has one season, dude. And I love this show. A lot. Alright, um, put this down for a minute. Alright, we also got the, uh... Spectacular Spider-Man Anime Series on DVD. This, I'm gonna get a Blu-ray upgrade, too. I mean, uh, the Spectacular Spider-Man is my favorite Spider-Man cartoon. I know I said the animated series for 2003 was good, but it's nowhere good as this. I mean, the action scenes in this, the music, the theme. I freaking love the theme song to this so much. There's actually a theme song to this on YouTube. Look it up. It's pretty good. Yeah, um, the villains in this are pretty good, too. Green Goblin was over the top. It's not Willem Dafoe's Green Goblin, by the way. And, like... None of these villains in this show represent the uh, characters from the movies. But there's one guy that plays a villain in this who actually plays Freddy Krueger. I can't remember the guy's name, but he plays Vulture in this show. And this contains all uh, both seasons, because this show only had two seasons. So you got volumes one through four... Season 1. And I love the ending for Season 1, by the way. With Black Cat and the symbiote Spider-Man. That was some good stuff. And they got Volumes 5 through 8 in Season 2. Yeah, I hated the ending to this one as well. Well, they could have done a Season 3. But by the time this show was done, that's when Disney took the rights to make a Spider-Man cartoon. <clears throat> Ultimate Spider-Man. Which turned out to be god-awful. <laughs> so yeah, there's that one. And... The next movie is Monster House. I have a nostalgia. Every time I watch this movie, it's... It's nostalgic. All over again by the time I watch this movie. It's a pretty good movie. Especially the ending scene. Where the house is chasing them. And they gotta blow it up. Like, that was some pretty good... Like, this movie's underrated from the beginning to the end. I'll put this down for eight minutes. We got, um... Zathura. I love Zathura, man. Um, I know people are gonna hate me for this, but I love it much more than the original Jumanji. Now, I will, I will say why. It's because it has a lot more, like, like, imp to it, if that's the correct word. Like, it, everything's just thrown at you at this movie. Like, the robot is pretty, like, it's pretty damn sinister in this. Um, the Zorgons scared the absolute shit out of me when I was little. Like, looking at them now, they, are, they obviously still look scary, but also pretty silly at the same time. Um... The astronaut, by the way, spoiler alert, at the end, it's basically this kid in the future. So, that's a major spoiler right there. But I love Zathura, man. It's a great movie. From the beginning to the end. And we got the Jumanji movies. We got Robin Williams, Jumanji, rest in peace. Now, I love Jumanji, don't get me wrong, I do love this movie. I just lo love Zathura more. Um, I mean, come on, the whole Rampage scene in this movie is pretty damn good. And this, I need to get a Blu-ray upgrade to this as well. 
But um, I love the ending to this movie so much. All right, we got Jumanji. Welcome to the Jungle. Now these are the Rock, Dwayne Johnson movies. There have been rumors saying they're gonna make a third one. I don't know if that's true or not, but you guys can comment down below if it is. Yeah, this movie is pretty funny. I mean, you got some good actors in it, so it it, it you're gonna assume it's funny, right? I'm just kidding. It's a funny movie. <laughs> I mean, by the time they get to Jumanji, is it that's that's when it really starts to get really comedic in a good way. And we got the sequel, The Next Level, which is alright, but I like the first one a lot better. I don't know, but the ending's good in this, though. Alright, next we got... Um, Hotel Transylvania. It's a good movie, you know? It's It's a really good movie. Now this this movie is hard to find with the slip cover, but I managed to bu get find one with the slip. Um, it's in box throughout, so which is pretty nice. Um, the ending scene in this is pretty good too. So um, yeah, the whole cast is great. Selena Gomez, Adam Sandler, Dracula, and um, what was her name in the movie? I can't remember her name in the movie. Mavis. There we go. Kevin James. Um, CeeLo Green. A great cast. And we got the sequel. Hotel Transylvania 2. It's not bad, you know. It's not a bad movie. It's not like one that's just thrown at you. It's actually a different spine over it. Let's see. This one got Dracula, and this one's got Mavis. And both of them have, um, the new character, Dennis, which is her kid in the movie. And we got Hotel Chichivini 3. This is the best out of the three films, like, the music that's in it. I love the Bruno Mars song that's in this. It's pretty good. The ending song, though, every time that song comes on, I just... I just chuckle a bit because I love that song at the end. Just look up Hotel Transylvania 3 ending and it, it it's pretty it's a pretty good song. <laughs> All right, let's put this down. Next, we got Spider-Man into the Spider-Verse. I got the Target exclusive to this one. Which came with the um, pop art book. Basically talks about the art that they did for the movie. The animation in this movie is pretty gorgeous. And I definitely can't wait for um, It's the Spider-Verse 2 dropping next month. Um, next month. Next year. <laughs> yeah, I mean, look at that, man. Look at that art. That's great art. And, um, I love this cover, too. Like, look at the slip cover. And they look, like, say, it, I'm Max, Miles Morales, and, um, Gwen Stacy. Um, they didn't do it for Spider-Man because, <clears throat> in Miles Morales' uh, version of Spider-Man, he dies. So, but there's another Spider-Man that comes in. And helps him out. So it's just pretty good. I love the ending to the Spider-Verse movie too. Pretty much all the endings for the Spider-Man movies. Is pretty good. So no complaint there. And we got Venom. I love Venom man. Like I went to go see this in theaters. And I was mind blown. It instantly. It's basically a sorry message. To the Spider-Man 3's Venom. Because we all know that Venom is pretty bad. Like his design is pretty weak. Because Venom you know. He's supposed to be big buffy. Like you know he's supposed to be a big guy. And that's what they did in this movie. 
And I definitely can't wait for Venom 2. Let There Be Carnage. That's going to be a great movie. And this one I got the Target exclusive to this as well. It's basically the same thing for Spider-Verse. But instead of art, it's just like pages from the movie. Like see. I love that shot of Venom by the way. When you first see him in the movie. That's the face he makes. I don't like the villain in this though. He was pretty weak. Um, with Riot. He was pretty weak as a villain in this. This is my opinion. We got... The Smurfs. Um... You know, it's cute. It's got, um... What's her face? Katy Perry as Smurfette. It's pretty funny, pretty good. Oh, the Smurfs is a good movie. That's all I gotta say. You got the Smurfs too. I don't know if I want to get Blu-ray versions of these because I didn't have these for so long. I only had them for like a year or two. I'm still, I'm like deb debating if I'm gonna get. Blu-rays for both of these. Because they're pretty good movies. I like the second one a lot better though. Then we got the most recent one. The Lost Village. Which is it the Smurfs 3 by the way. It's basically um, a callback to the Smurfs cartoon. 